I'm afraid you can't go in just yet. The neurologists are still with Alex. Hey, why don't you try to eat something? Oh, I'm, I'm not hungry. Did you get any sleep last night? Off and on. Every time I heard someone in Alex's room... I... You got up to see what was going on. <laughs> That's why I suggested you go home and sleep. I can't leave Alex alone. What if he woke up and I wasn't there? I understand. Early this morning, I... I spent a half hour or so with him. He, he seems better to me, more, more responsive somehow. It, is that possible or is it my imagination? Oh, no, no, it's not your imagination. Alex's condition is stable right now. We got through the most difficult, the most dangerous complication last night. That was the edema. If the tissues in his body had become built up with excess fluid, well, to tell you the truth, I don't know if he'd look as good as he does right now. I heard one of the nurses talking about the possibility of another embolism. Well, look, it's a possibility. But complications are also always possible. But if it happens, he'll die, won't he? Good morning. Oh, hi, Rita. I thought for sure you'd be up at the Harper place, supervising the geological survey. Gee, that's a pretty suit, is it, new? I understand uh, that you've become quite a champion of the oil industry. Now, why would you do that? When you know how everyone around these parts feels about oil. Here. I mean, you haven't even eaten a thing on that plate. You know, we still got to pay for this, even if you don't eat it. Well, here, then you eat it, Billy Joe. I'm too nervous to eat. I wish Jeb would get back here with the newspapers. Well, he's just left a few minutes ago. I mean, he hasn't even had time to get out of the elevator yet. What happens if they hated me, Billy Joe? What if they think I was terrible? I can't go back to Houston if I fall on my face here. Uh, darling, get those ideas out of your head, all right? That's just negative thinking. Ain't you know about that? Well, sure. I mean, you're just doing a number on yourself, so just cool it, huh? Well, wait a minute. How can I when, when my whole future, and yours too, depends on the outcome of these reviews? <laughs> now, don't go getting dramatic on me now, and you didn't fall flat on your face either. You heard the way everybody was clapping and hollering for you when you were through? And as far as I know, there you, you were the only one up there except maybe the band. Yeah, but most of that cheering came from you and Jim. But it wasn't only a... Well, did you read the reviews already? Yeah, I did. Well, and they thought I was terrible, didn't they? Are you kidding? They thought you were the hottest thing that hit this town in years. <laughs> look at this. Let's take a look at this. No, let me see it. All right, boy, you look at this. Let me read it. Here we go. Look at this one. Look at this one. Okay, country and western singer Elena Decker uh, yeah. opened her show at the Lone Star Cafe last night with her single, It's All Over Town a record that has gained increasing popularity during its short time on the air. And judging from the audience reaction, it sounds like it's a song we'll be hearing for some time to come. Woo! Listen to that, Sugar Hut. You're on your way. You're going to be a superstar. <laughs> Where are you? New York City, where I was supposed to be. I thought I expected you to call last night. Where were you? I was occupied, taking care of our business. Have you forgotten? Is everything going on? You okay? Yeah, fine. Take a girl doesn't know you're there, does she? What do you think? I'm stupid? Of course she doesn't. Look, everything's set. I'm gonna make my move tonight. McKinsey. The first part 
Hub Texas is brought to you by Duncan Hines Deluxe 2. The cake that's light and moist. And Duncan Hines Pudding Recipe. The cake that's so moist, it almost belongs in a pudding dish.